All right, looks like we're live. So I just wanted to come on here. I'll let everybody hop on for a minute, see if anybody is around. Um, while I'm waiting here, for those of you that don't know me, I'm uh, attorney Kurt Kazmerzak with CCSK Law. And I uh, just wanted to come on today and uh, talk a little bit about the, the uh, CARES Act. That's the uh, new act signed by the president on Friday, and uh, it's called the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act. Um, if you guys are following our page, uh, chances are that you have uh, heard Isaac on here talking how this relates to business. Um, and uh, my area of law that I work in is uh, bankruptcy and family law. And so I just wanted to come on. There's a little bit of this act that does pertain to bankruptcy law. And so I wanted to hop on here today and uh, get you guys some info. If you're either into bankruptcy or you're contemplating bankruptcy, um, these might pertain to you. So um, with that said, I hope everybody is uh, doing well and, you know, you're uh, at home or if you're still working and, you know, there's uh, some, some people would say it's worse to be at home with everybody cooped up all the time, but um, I don't know. I've, I'm, I'm back and forth. I have to get, get in the office sometimes, but uh, I do uh, I do enjoy being home with the family too. So um, anywho, I uh, hope you're all well and hope the social distancing is helping and we're reducing, reducing the curve and everybody's staying healthy. But uh, without any further ado, I'll get in here. Um, a couple things. If you are thinking about um, filing for bankruptcy or uh, you're, you're in the process of filing bankruptcy, a couple things that will uh, pertain to you here are uh, in regards to the definition of income, um, any stimulus payment that comes out of this for you, you know, they're talking about 1200 for adults within 500 for children, that stimulus payment will actually not be considered part of your income. Um, same thing in regards to the portion of your income that is um, uh, considered disposable income that's going to be excluded from the disposable income. Um, you know, this is something that I, I don't know. I can't say that they're planning on doing more of this. Um, they did set this up so that this part of the bill or the act will last for a year. So any payments for the next you know, year, if they come out with more payments, these type of stimulus payments are related specifically to this um, coronavirus disease emergency bill um, is not going to be part of your income for the purposes of filing bankruptcy. It's also not going to be part of your disposable income for that purpose as well. Uh, and that'll really play into whether, you know, we're doing a chapter seven or you're doing a chapter 13, which one do you need to do and how does your income work with that? Okay. Um, in the same way that Yes, exactly. Uh, Isaac hopped on. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Uh, stimulus payments are not part of income. That's correct. Uh, so this is this is all good, all good stuff there. Um, and again, you know, we're not going to take a lot of time here uh, tonight. Just wanted to get this out to you so that you know it. Um, and again, that is for a year. In addition to that, there is one more big thing. If you are in a bankruptcy uh, and you are in a Chapter Thirteen right now, and you've been economically hit by the coronavirus. As long as your plan is confirmed before they pass this act, so that'll be last Friday. So as long as your plan is confirmed before then, uh, you may be eligible to go ahead and modify your plan payments um, to extend out longer. Normally, uh, for those of you that don't know, normally in a Chapter 13, your payment month's time range will range from 36 months up to uh, 60 months. So um, it's up to five years. In this case, they're uh, making a little exception here and allowing that to extend out up to uh, seven years. So there is some ability to go ahead and modify that payment. Um, it's going to be based on uh, specific financial hardship as it re as related to the coronavirus. Uh, and everything's kind of centered. The thing with this bill is they've really done a, a job of taking and every little bit, every little adjustment they have in there. Everything is set up to specifically rate to relate to your response to the coronavirus. Uh, um, so in this case, they will go ahead and let some of these um, modifications come through. Uh, they will allow some people to modify. Keep in mind, again, this is on plans that have been confirmed before this plan was enacted. So if you've filed the 13, but the plan's not confirmed yet, um, that's not going to qualify under this. Um, so there's also, you know, there's always going to be little 
little questions and things that pop up. Um, one of the ones I was thinking about earlier, because it's not specifically mentioned in this, is um, you know when you're talking about unemployment, there's a stimulus boost to that, that $600 that they've been talking about. Um, does that fall in line with your income or is that part of the stimulus um, And as far as what they consider this here? Um, that's probably going to be more on a on a per case basis and in talking with the trustees and working with them. Um, chances are, I, mean, I, I would make an argument that it's stimulus and not part of a, uh, income, um, but they weren't really specific in that. You know, this is something that they put together really quick uh, and they went ahead and um, got it through because of the necessity of it had to get through. But at the same time, there's going to be lots of uh, questions and things that come up. So if you're not sure or you have a specific question, feel free to comment below. Um, if you comment, we'll get the answer. Even if it's not while I'm live, come back and watch later and go ahead and put a comment in. I'll be happy to answer it. Um, if you have a specific situation that you want to talk about that's really more to your situation, um, go ahead and give me a call. You can call me at 219-230-3600. Um, there's no charge to do a phone consultation. I'll talk with you real briefly about it. Um, my initial appointments with clients and people that say, I want to talk details. I want some advice. I want to know if this is something I need to do. Um, I do those face-to-face. -face. I can do those um, over the internet for you. We can do a, um, a live meeting just like this, not not on Facebook, obviously, but we can go ahead and do that so that if you want to stay home and be safe, I 100% am okay with that. Um, and we can get some specific questions for you answered. Um, in the meantime, stay safe, enjoy your family, and um, let me know if you have any questions. Again, 219-230-3600 if you want to go ahead and set up an appointment. Jen, who's watching or was watching a little bit earlier, uh, she'll be able to get that phone for you and get you set up with a meeting. Um, just tell her that you want to do it over the internet, and we'll get that set up for you. Um, I think that's about it. Go ahead and leave questions below. Again, just a quick reminder, um, stimulus payments are not part of your income, and they're not part of the disposable income calculations either. Um, dude, look at Isaac, man. He is working it for me, getting that number on there. Um, you can also see us at ccsklaw.com. see if he puts that in there. Uh, maybe he'll get it in there. So uh, anyway, uh, have a good evening. Enjoy your family. Uh, you know, when, when we're, things are strange like this, it's always time to, it's always nice to take a little extra time just to be thankful that, you know, if you're lucky enough to be home with everybody and everybody's healthy right now, that's, uh, that's some good stuff to be happy for. So wish y'all well. Have a good one. Talk to you later.